Well, when we talk about uh, HR analytics, what we're really talking about is using data to help drive important decisions about talent and, and how it is organized. So, for example, um, at uh, Google, a company that many people know, one of the things that Google did was to look at its um, traditional attrition rates or how often people quit, and it also looked at its growth rates and made some decisions about where they would be lacking people, where they would have a, too many people in various job categories and where they wouldn't have enough. And that helped to drive insights about what to do about those surpluses or deficits. Well, people's expectations uh, from HR departments are, are really changing. And, uh, and I think young people in particular are much more demanding. Young people are concerned about their careers, about doing something meaningful, making an important contribution in whatever they do. And so HR departments, if they're going to be valuable, really need to address those kinds of issues and be an advocate for employees, as well as a representative of employees with higher levels of management. Absolutely, absolutely. And we need to measure things that really matter, things that are important to achieving strategic objectives. So, for example, um, an oil field services company uh, would be very concerned about turnover in petroleum engineers. And uh, to the extent that uh, HR could deliver programs to reduce that voluntary turnover among people in mission critical jobs, uh, that's a very, very important outcome to so many organizations.